Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, we're going to go into the reader emails and see what we can pull up to model for you today. Today's email is from, or comment is from Philip Lazares Sr. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly there, Philip. Um, he wants to see anything out of the ordinary, like how to show garage interior in 3D with no drywall, able to see the framing? That's a great question. Let's get started. So I've drawn up a quick uh, garage here and let's show the framing. Let's show the interior with no drywall and framing only. Uh, so I'm going to do this and shift F6 to split the screens. I really want uh, the rendering on the left. So what I'm going to do is that's going to change the wall type itself. Uh, I'm going to open this wall here and go into wall types. Now since this is the only these this this garage is the only um, model or only room in this file I wouldn't have to change the wall type but I'm going to in case you have a situation where you've got an attached garage I've opened the wall specification box and clicked on wall types and clicked on I'm gonna click on define and copy this wall and just call it garage so I know what um, there. I'm going to delete these interior layers. I cannot delete this line, line uh, layer number five. So all I have is my lap siding, house wrap, OSB, and fur stud. And click OK. And you'll notice if I flip, I can drag this uh, uh, um, icon if you will or, or example this model and if I turn it around to see the interior I see the fur stud framing on the interior as a solid piece here. I'm going to click OK. Nothing changed in this rendering because I only changed one wall in the back that's in the back of this rendering so if I move the camera you can see this fur stud. Um, material as a flat um, solid piece here and we'll get to the framing here in just a minute so let's um, I'm going to select all the walls over here and command E on my keyboard because I'm on a Mac if you're on a PC you'd be using control E to open up all of those and I'm just gonna select wall types and find the one that I added the garage to. Now all of them are, um, all of the walls you see this solid stud framing material. To see the studs then what I have to do is I could do it a couple ways. I could um, select individual walls and frame them when you've selected the individual walls you I believe in X9 this started might have been X10 um, when you select an object you can build the framing specifically for that the that object or selected objects now in plan view the framing headers is not displayed I don't need to necessarily show them in plan view and I will go ahead and show the wall framing in the um, in the plan view. All right, so here, let's turn in this rendering, let's turn on the layer. I'm going to hit the tilde key, which is uh, just above the tab key, to pull up the layer display options. And I'm going to hit F for framing, or FR for framing. And let's make sure wall framing is turned on.
Now it's not turned on, so let's, or it is turned on now, right? We just turned it on, yes. Let's delete one surface here. And you can see the wall framing. Let's uh, hit the tilde key again and turn on headers for that. Now, this is something new in X11, I believe. I could do this in X10, I'm pretty sure. that I could delete this interior layer and I, I have a feeling that might be what is um, stopping us from seeing that. Although that has no, it seems like it's more main layer. There we go. Now, now it's working. Just had to refresh, I guess. Now you don't see any framing on this wall all around it. Uh, so what we have to do is the alternative way to build the, the wall framing is to double click our framing tool up here mm -hmm. and go into wall, build wall framing, or you can automatically build wall framing. That would be an option as well. I don't do automatic because um, it just takes up too much um, uh, computing time and power I think and in remodeling I don't want all of the walls framing built all the time so there's most of the time I just want to show the addition walls uh, wall framing built uh, so we built the wall and there's your wall framing interior now let's say we didn't want the ceiling shown, right? I'm going to click on the floor and let's do structure, ceiling, I can't edit that, so I'm going to click on the ceiling. Oh, it be, it's because when I click on the floor I'm actually selecting the um, the room from, from level zero. Yeah, this room, yeah, I'm selecting the room below, so I need to select the ceiling in this case. Um, normally in a, in a house, you can click floor or ceiling and it's going to um, not matter. In the garage situation or in a situation where there's room supplied by floor below, that, that does matter. So let's go click on structure, ceiling finish, and I'm going to delete all of these layers of the ceiling finish. Now you don't see ceiling across here because we haven't built them yet. Let's go ahead and build first floor ceiling framing. And we're going to display the joists. All right. Same with our roof, build roof framing, let's go 16 inch on center, and yes we want to display those as well. Now you notice that one note that said existing roof planes are not affected, um, so I need to go into the plan and select these roofs, go into structure, change those at 16, that's great. Now I'm going to click the build framing for selected objects. Now I don't want to show the roof rafters in plan view, but they will update on the rendering. Let's expand that. And that's how I would show framing f inside of a garage. Once again, you're not going to see the framing until you actually build framing, uh, the wall framing, or the roof framing, or the ceiling framing. Um, most, most likely you would be seeing the solid surface as, as a 
block, if you will, as if the whole wall was framed. You have to delete the drywall material finishes and then build the framing and you will see what we've got here on the screen. I hope that's been helpful for you, Philip. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to comment below. If you've been uh, helped by this, would you please leave an, the encouragement of a thumbs up for me? Uh, as always, subscribe and click that notification bell. And lastly, don't forget to check out the Patreon channel. The link is in the description below. If you find these videos helpful, I would appreciate, uh, would, you, would you share the co cost of a cup of coffee with me each month so that I can continue to produce these and um, give more and better uh, educational uh, content. Thanks so much. As always, have a wonderful week.